What's up guys and gals? My name is Plattercat. Happy to have you here today at the Nerd Castle for the first episode of our Death Watch coverage. Now, I didn't even know this game was coming out. That's the big thing is I woke up this morning and I saw this precariously titled email from a developer that said, Warhammer 40k, are you interested? And I went, oh my god, there's a Warhammer 40k game coming out? And so I looked inside of there and there was a key for the game. So today we're going to check it out. I've never played the game before. Seriously, usually I like to prepare by playing the game for a day or two before I do a series so that I at least know the basic mechanics so that I won't look completely and totally stupid. But in the case that I look completely and totally stupid, I just wanted to tell you I haven't even played the game yet. So we'll find out. If you don't know what the Death Watch is, to my understanding, the Death Watch is basically like the League of Justice of Space Marines. They take all the heroes of the Imperium from all the different Space Marine chapters and they slap them into this new chapter. And as I understand it, that's the Death Watch, although I'm not totally sure. So anyways, I love 40k, but I'm not familiar with the Death Watch. As far as I understand it, though, it's kind of like a League of Heroes. So let's go to campaign and find out. They came from the darkness. First a dot, then a glare. Splitting into thousands of tendrils, snaking across the stars. Left unchecked, the Tyranids would swarm and devour these worlds of man. This cannot happen. Chosen from across all chapters of the Adeptus Astartes, we are the angels of death. We are the nightmares of our enemies. We are the fine blade that pierces the heart. We are the Death Watch. And this sector will not fall. This is how I know they would never let me run anything in the Imperium. That right there, because I'd be like, how many worlds do we actually have? Like, eh, don't we have like millions and millions of worlds? Alright, we can let a couple fall. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Just, sorry, couple of worlds. It's your turn. Astropathic messages are coming from the Astolat sector, telling of the coming of the Tyranids. The Death Watch are gathering intelligence and evacuating valuable assets from potentially doomed worlds. Okay. Let's do this thing. Ooh, we get Devastator Marines? That'll be pretty fun. I can't wait. I just want to see what kind of Marines we're going to get. I figure if you draw from- oh. the Death Watch, you are here to purge the Xenos threat and secure this extraction zone. Your battle brother will arrive shortly with important intelligence. Intelligence is important on a battlefield, so I hope he is intelligent. So what does this do here? Okay, so in order to do actions, we have to click on a dude. Yep, clicking on a dude right here. So can I shoot things? There's a Hormagaunt. There's a Horm... Okay, it looks like we just got a bunch of Hormagaunts. Hopefully I can't shoot my own guy. It looks like we've got some damage at the bottom, so we've got some kind of bracket that we can deal damage inside of. A bracket of Brucka. 33 to 39. If I sound a little slow today, it's because I had the flu the last couple of days. By the way, I didn't want to bring it up. They tell you in public speaking, you're never supposed to talk about yourself like at the beginning. You're never supposed to be like, well, I was sick this week. But I do it anyways, because you know what? Speech classes be damned. I'm going to shoot the hell. Yeah! That was pretty awesome. I enjoyed that far more than I expected to enjoy that. I thought it was just going to be like, pa chow, pa chow. And the Hormagaunt was going to be like, oh god, you shot me. That was actually pretty chuggy. Your Space Marines have four action points. Attacking and moving a square costs an AP. Some larger weapons cost more APs to fire. Oh, so he only costs... Well, shoot that little bastard. Yeah, don't try to hide behind a wall. I got your number, Hormagaunt. You don't know me like that. You better get back. This is my neighborhood. Space Marine hood. And we all get four actions? Oh, that's so awesome. Magnus. Brother Magnus. Dispense forth the steel upon the enemies of the Imperium. When all of your team members have used their AP, or earlier if you wish it, oh I wish I had less AP, you end your turn, the enemy will get a turn and it's back to you. So, if I'm guessing correctly from Space Hulk and every other terrible thing that can happen in the Warhammer universe, we probably just don't want to run out of AP. Here, walk over to here. Da -na 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 -na. I feel like Space Marines should always come with some kind of soundtrack when they walk. It's just be like, da -da 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 -da. Are there enemies around? I don't like it when it does those sorts of things where it's like, there could be enemies Brother moving. Bridges. Guide him to the extraction zone. Brother Goriel, it is time for us to escape from the maws of Eve. Oh. There are two remaining Xenos, and also these skulls appeared on the ground. Are they LED? That's pretty awesome. This Space Marine is an Assault Marine. He can do melee attacks as well as range attacks. If an Assault Marine is adjacent, he will do a melee attack. Okay. How do I make him jump pack around? Make him be like... 
and take off into the sky. What does this do? He's got a 20% chance to parry a melee attack, absorbing 80% of the damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Should I just murder one of these? I think I should murder one of these. Hormagont fall in the name of the Emperor, 84 damage to the side of your head. No, don't miss, brother. Oh shit, they get a- okay, they get a counterattack. That is concerning. Goriel, watch out for, watch out for the counterattack. Oh, his name is Carl Halfclaw. I assume that he is a wolf brother. If he brought his standard stockpile of wolf cookies, we should be totally happy here. If you didn't bring the wolf cookies, then we may actually I know you got the letter through through your email that we said that hey you could join our Space Marine chapter if you really wanted to, but the whole thing was sort of contingent. Like I really we only invited you because space wolves have bitchin' cookies, and that's about it. Oh, they're back. No, little Velociraptor looking monster. Go away, Hormagon. I don't love you. No one loves you. I don't want... There sure are a lot of these things around here. Are you sure the infestation hasn't already happened? Melee attacks are all about risk and reward. They're very powerful, but you have to get in close. Also, if your opponent... Yeah, I figured that out the hard way already. <laughs> that would have been something. Please mention the fact that they might claw my face off a little earlier. I feel nervous about it. I'm going to shoot you with a gun. Because that is what guns do, and then I'm going to run away in the least cowardliest way possible. I just don't want you to claw- oh my god, there's movement blur. There we go, let's go to this side right here. Do we all have to extract, or is it just Wolf Brother Carl? Here, Wolf Brother Carl, go to this side, there you are. Alright. On this side, how far can we fire? Do we have Overwatch? I would love to have Overwatch, or Underwatch, or, you know, Sinister Watch. Doesn't really matter. I'll take either Dexter Watch. It all works. I wonder how far they can move. This might not turn out very well. Oh, they can only move four? Weird. I thought they could move further because they're Tyranids, and Tyranids have the tendency to do these sorts of things. They're like, oh, look how far- oh god, it's the next turn and he's right in front of me. Like, yes, always be wary. The enemy is coming for us. And our wolf cookies, this is why they try to conquer our worlds. Goriel, stop them with your fire. Everyone's name. Okay, so basically I gotta explain the jokes here. I don't really have to explain them, actually. You should just go watch my Space Hulk series, Space Hulk Ascension, and then you'll understand all the jokes that I'm making right now. It, this is kind of- this entire series is just me gonna be referencing things that you don't remember. Fantastic, we have extracted. We have gotten- yes. Fantastic. Apparently I was supposed to do that earlier, but I got, I got caught up shooting things. It's a thing that Space Marines do. Space Marines that survive a mission gain XP and can be spent on upgrades. Oh, cool. A Space Marine that is killed will not gain any XP and will lose any unspent XP from previous... Oh, man. So do they die permanently? Like, is there permadeath? And once they're gone, it's basically a giant brain drain? That'd be kind of rough. 570 XP? Okay, sounds good. He had 750 in the middle. What does this do? You've been awarded 20 eyes. Ooh, a plasma gun. Sounds good to me. I like new guns. I'm liking the feel of this already. It feels tight so far. Now, I haven't played very much, but still. In general, when I play games, workshop games, you have like two different types of games. Some of their games go off flawlessly, and some of them feel a little bit loose. This one, I'm happy to say, actually everything feels very, very tight so far. So does the campaign continue? Astropathic messages are coming from the Astrolat Sector. I think that's the same message that it was already giving us. I'm just gonna give you guys the full 25 minutes because why not? I had other things I was supposed to be recording today and then... The enemy is coming. You must hold them at bay until the intelligence inside the space has been cleared. Goril. He said that we should hold them at bay, but I forgot my swimming suit. Do you think that's going to be a problem? Will we be swimming on this mission? Devastator Marines fire heavy weapons. They also cost more AP to fire. Devastator Marines are great against tougher enemies. Did he come with a heavy bolter? What does he have? He's got the pack pack on, so I assume he has a heavy bolter. His pack pack of steel distribution. Yeah! That's the thwugga 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 I like to hear. Go ahead, clear out your corner. Oh no, I thought he was gonna miss for a second. I was like, we cannot miss right now. We cannot be stopped by the enemies of the Emperor. I almost said the enemies, but luckily that didn't happen. Yeah! I like how we can lay down Daka here. I'm feeling pretty confident about our chances to just, like, waste Tyranids. What does this do? Tap where you want to aim? Is that like a... Hold on. Is that just like a... Like a manual shot, maybe? There's no tooltip for what that is. 
Oh, maybe that's Overwatch. It seems possible. And maybe they have to move through a specific square in order for you to get the Overwatch. I don't know. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. I hope you're really good at shooting, homeboy. This is about to get raw. It's about to get real raw. Yeah, it appears as though you can put him on Overwatch or something. And now that I screwed up, I've got to bring him forward. And we got to kill this one off before the end of the turn. Oh, he can only do... Uh, Oh, he's got a gun. I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. He's got himself a bolt of pistol. And so that worked out even though I screwed up. I thought I was doing Overwatch, but he was actually moving. And so this is how most of my tactical foibles tend to happen in games like this. I'm like, I thought he was doing this, and then he wasn't doing that. Are we supposed to be moving right now? Or are we just, like, hanging out over here and having target practice? How awesome of a job would that be? I mean, aside from all the gen like genetic modification and whatnot. Oh, shit. There's a lot of these guys, and apparently they are prolific climbers. It says they're moving, but I can't see them. They're off camera. I feel so nervous about this right now. I don't feel good about this. You know, I haven't had the flu in like five years, and it is every bit as unpleasant as I remember it being from when I was younger. All Death Watch Space Marines can be set to Overwatch. See, now they tell me. Space Marines on Overwatch will conserve their remaining APs and use them in the enemy turn whenever an enemy moves into range. Press the Overwatch ability button on the left. Yep, 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 yep. I already figured that one out the hard way. So maybe I'll have him pull back to here. One, two. Uh, they can move farther than I think they can move. Okay, so keep the melee guy back just in case we got to hold it down in town. Clown. Don't wear a frown, clown. All right, so Brother Leandros, dispense forth your fire upon the Hormagant. Indeed. Die, little Hormagant. They're kind of cute, though. I mean, all things considered. I don't think they're that ugly. I mean, I could have a pet Hormagant. As long as he didn't betray me and bite me and do those things that Tyranids are known for doing. I would like for you to aim over to that side, brother. I would also enjoy it if you would. I, we have to defend this space for the, all the wolf cookies. That is the reward for the quest. They said plasma gun. Pretty sure what they actually meant was wolf cookie rewards. So I'll probably go over to here. There we go. That sounds good. Overwatch. Destroy mine enemies. Damn. Look at you, Snipey. Well, I didn't know you were going to aim that good. Jesus. He's a killing machine. Oh, my God. This is actually pretty incredible. I enjoyed that tremendously. My enemies are falling like leaves from a tree in fall, which I didn't mean to be punny, but it sort of is, so I'll accept it for right now. I still hear the sound of things... What was that noise? I can't pan my screen right now. I'm so scared. Please. Hormagant, don't bite me. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds bad. It sounds like they're communicating. They're talking with one another. Filthy Xenos. Time to die. If only I could aim. It's kind of like if I only had a brain. If only I could aim. Da -da 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 -da. No! Shoot better. There we go. Yep, time to destroy mine foes. I don't think I can use that right there. However, is there anything coming from this way? I don't... Oh, there he is right there. Okay, maybe it doesn't pan the screen when they're moving off camera. And that's how... I don't know if there's like... Should I be pressing forward here? Like in some of the Space Hulk missions, since Space Hulk was such a defensive game, they would shake things up every now and again by putting like treasure chests and stuff on the map that would force you to stop playing so defensively if you wanted to get unlocks. I still unlocked like no relics the entire game, which was like disappointing. I kind of wanted them, and then they were like, no, no relics for you. The only relics we carry are the holy lemonade, the holy juice boxes, because we get kind of thirsty in these big suits, seriously. They're like little sweat cans. They're the worst. Would you look at that? There are a lot of these little guys, aren't there? And again, low point cost armies, what can you do? What can you do? Oh, they are like riding out on me. Remember to keep using Overwatch. It will make light enemies. Okay, I, cool. Sounds good, thank you. I will shoot you with my sp- Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Oh, balls. Run away! Run away! I know, it's a tactic not frequently employed by Space Marines, 
But running away has its has its moment. Yeah, go ahead and wipe them out on this side. Do I ever have to reload? Because that was a pretty that was a pretty standing problem that we had. Maybe because these guys are heroes of the Imperium, it's just assumed that they get as much ammo as they want. Would sound okay to me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hold on. Where's the grid? One, two, three, four. They should be able to get over there, but they shouldn't be able to attack. I'm gonna move him to here. Does a diagonal cost one or two? It appears as though the diagonal costs one, so that's acceptable. Yeah, aim over there and cover his butt cheeks. The holy butt cheeks of the Emperor must be defended. Not a single cheek shall be damaged while I am in your hood. Understood? There we go. And so we'll put him up over here. I think they might just be teaching me how not to suck at the game right now, which is actually pretty solid. I will accept that. Don't get attacked in your rear. Watch, watch your rear flank. It's about to be chewed. Hmm. I wish to shoot the enemies of the Imperium. Give me another turn. Oh, we just got to extract now? Well, fine then. I mean, I don't want to brag. Whoa, what was up with that extra? Did you do like an extra half turn? What was that right there? Like, I like to pirouette while I work the camera. It makes everything more cinematic. Learned that shit from Michael Bay. So let's assume that I can get back to the extraction zone. Like right now, how far can you move? Extraction zone time. Farewell, Tyranids. How come they're... Oh, they're different colors. Maybe it's because he's a assault marine? That's pretty cool, though. I never realized his little overlay was a different color. Damn, we got hella egg. Look at that shit. Yeah, buddy. Level up. It's time for us to increase our level for the Embra. And then we also got a power axe. That'll be pretty fun. I enjoy power axes. When do we get, like, cool stuff, though? Like, when do we get, like, the melta guns? Because that's when shit starts to get real. So if I look at my marines for right now... It looks like we can go through. We can equip, requip, rename. A requip is just when your first quip doesn't land well enough, and so you feel like you need another smart ass attack on the enemy. Okay. So over on this side appears to be where we level him up at. Space Marine level up. Click the stat that you would like to increase. We can go with HP, we can go with crit, or we can go with accuracy. I'm gonna say to go with accuracy? Because missing seems like the worst thing that could possibly happen, right? I don't know what the smartest choice is here. HP doesn't seem like it's going to help much because I was watching how much damage each shot did. And with 200 HP, if you're taking 15 to 20 per hit, an extra 5 HP probably isn't going to save you at any point. Like, you would have to make... It costs only 250? Really, that's pretty cheap. Okay, so we'll do that right there. What does his next level up cost? It says he got 950, right? I'll probably just go with accuracy still. I just want to make sure that he hits stuff. It looks like you get a lot of level ups, so maybe that's the balancer. Cost 500 for the next one. Let's make him a little bit thicker and more stacked. What do these cost? Oh, those are really expensive. Okay, crack shot used once every three turns. This is actually where we fire a mounted piece of crack at our enemy and then just watch their life and their wives leave them as the crack addiction takes over their life. That's why it's called a crack shot. Some people think that it's actually because we make a wise crack while we're shooting. But no, it's not about that at all. It actually has more to do with the fact that we're giving our enemy a debilitating addiction to crack cocaine. Alright, so this marine, the assault marine, I'm thinking it's probably a good idea that he has more HP, right? Like, make him kind of thick when it comes to HP. What does this do? Cleave. Ooh, I kind of want to save up for some of these. We've got 30% damage, it's always... Ooh, we've also got some traits. Okay, killing blow. 50% damage when target is below 50% health. War gear. What is it good for? Definitely more slots to carry around extra snack packs with us when we go into combat. Sometimes I get hungry. You might ask how the snack packs get eaten because they have a helmet on. Well, that is why you see some of the... Every now and again, they never explain why some Marines don't have helmets and some Marines do. The ones without helmets are the ones who recently had snack time. And that is canon. You can look it up on the Wikipedia. Let's see here. I'll probably stick with accuracy on some of these little guys to try and get them... It looks like you get a lot of XP, so I figure we'll be able to fill this up pretty quickly with time. 
All right, so we got his accuracy up. I just want to make sure that everybody's at least getting the shots off that they need to get. And it looked like we were getting some pretty frequent misses when we were playing in there. And so, in order to avoid, there's nothing I hate more in XCOM-like games than missing. It's a pet peeve of mine. And so I'd really like to limit that right now. Tactical Marines, the Tic Tac Marines. I got the best breath in the entire Imperium. All right, that's going to be my time for the day. This is Warhammer 40k Death Watch, which I assume, actually, since it says tap and things like that, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of mobile port. But anyways, I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the first episode. I'm going to play this all day today. I will see you next time. I do, everybody.